In the last 24 hours, we've heard many reports from Kosovo Serbian border, and the funny fact is that they all tend to support or oppose one side of the tension. I mean, it seems that media outlets, based on where they are from, try to somehow bind this to the Ukraine war and NATO Russia confrontation. Hello, my friends, I'm Shafi, and in this new episode, we try to have a fair look on both points of view in this tension. Kosovo is the breakaway part of Serbia and is under protection of NATO, while Serbia, as you know, is a close government to Russia. Now, this could show that if things get out of control in this region, it could immediately grow to another indirect confrontation between Russia and NATO. But for now, it's simply a misunderstanding between two non-friendly governments on non-important issues with a background of enmity. Kosovo recently announced that cars entering this republic from Serbia have to get additional documents and with drivers not accepting this change, two of border crossings have been shut. Last night on these crossings, guards started shooting and it continued for some hours. This kind of misunderstanding is common and could happen on every border. For example, the day before, uh, such a shooting happened on Iran-Afghanistan border and was resolved quickly. But why this incident? is getting too much attention from media. First of all, because of the history. Kosovo, which is a predominantly Muslim republic, has a history of fighting a bloody war with Serbs in the end of 1990s, which involved Russia and NATO and finally led to their independence. Kosovo announced its independence in 2008, but Serbia still does not approve it, so any minor dissatisfaction from each side could bring another war. For me, media coverage of this incident is much more interesting. Russian media talk about it as if NATO is planning to ignite another tension in this region against a Russian ally to drown Moscow in more problems, and Western media see it as a Russian strategy to start another indirect war in Europe in order to distract NATO and media from its Ukrainian campaign and do whatever it wants there. Kosovo have announced that it will postpone limitations on entrance of Serbs until 1st of September. And I personally hope that this confrontation stops here. People in this region have had too much pain. That's it and thanks for watching. If you're new in this channel, there are also dozens of other videos on similar issues. So don't forget to check them out, subscribe and to share your opinion.